The true measure of a competitor's heart is their willingness to rise when called upon. And for two of the LFL's most storied franchises, that moment has arrived. It's Legends Cup 2019. Next. What time is it, Gaza? is your moment. But you ain't no big bad bitch if we break your rib cage. Stop giving them free shit. Do your motherfucking job. Because you play for the person next to you, you play for the team, you play for those coaches, and you play for those fans. Tonight, you leave everything on the field. You're looking at the iconic Pike Place Market in beautiful Seattle, Washington. Seattle is the site of our 2019 Legends Cup. And welcome inside the broadcast booth, LFL football night for one final time in 2019. It's Legends Cup Day. My name is Chet Buchanan. Alongside the Super Bowl champion, the shutdown corner, the all pro. He's been here before. He knows what it's all about. Please welcome in Eric Davis. It's great to see you, buddy. Thanks, man. And Heidi Goldsnick will be joining us on the sidelines in just a few minutes. And again, what better way to finish the 2019 season? This 10th anniversary LFL season then a 2019 Legends Cup featuring two iconic franchises with the Los Angeles Temptation, who've won it before, and the Seattle Mist, who are going for their third Legends Cup. You look at the way these two clubs got to this point. Wasn't quite what we expected, but they are here now, and they both have to believe that they belong. I, I played in the Super Bowl, and you have to understand it's not like any other game. You're going to find yourself on championship day looking at all the fanfare, paying attention to the fireworks, understanding that there are more eyes on you, but you have to put that aside. Chet, you have to be able to calm down, understand it's a football game, you need to make plays, and as much as you know it's not any other day, you gotta try and make it that. And like you said earlier, we were talking before the show, you can't. You can't. There's just no way. There's no way. Each team has a great mix of battle-hardened veterans and great young up-and-coming players, but it really comes down to the quarterbacks tonight. For the L.A. Temptation, the snake, Ashley Salerno, trying to get her first Legends Cup since 2012. On the other side, Seattle Mist has K.K. Matheny, and it is going to come down to the quarterback play tonight. Yeah, both of these quarterbacks have been here. They understand what's at stake, and they're going to have to keep their huddles calm, okay? You look at what's happening with K.K. Matheny. This is someone who has two Legend Cups under her belt already, has an opportunity to get that third and become the GOAT, but she's going to have to deal with a fast temptation defense. She's not quite as fast as I said. She's been here before. She has years under her belt, but I think she will have to find a way to figure out how to deal with that speed. You flip it over to the temptation side of things. On offense, Ashley Salerno has been here. She's coming into this game. She's been playing very well. She needs to stay at that level and utilize the skill position players that she have that can make big plays for. A couple of great gunslingers and a couple of great leaders in the locker room. But like you said, it really is going to come down to how well Ashley Salerno can play. Again, her first time back on this stage since 2012. She hasn't quite met the expectations, even though they were really high for her play on the field, and she's had the off-the-field issues as well that have been well yeah. that have been well chronicled. She sat down with our Heidi Goldsnig to talk about what it's like being back on this Legends Cup stage. Thanks, guys. Tonight, we have a star-studded lineup from both the Los Angeles Temptation and the Seattle Mist. However, perhaps no athlete has made more headlines, both good and bad, than Los Angeles quarterback Ashley Salerno. I sat down with Salerno to discuss what a return to the Legends Cup means to her personally, as well as to a team that no one thought would be in this game. It must feel like a long time ago that you were on this stage hoisting a championship trophy. Has it sunk in yet that in a matter of hours, you're going to be on the stage of the biggest game in women's football? I don't think it's going to sink in until the national anthem. That's usually for me when I start getting 
really nervous. Um, I've been trying my best to stay in the present this whole trip so far to soak it in. I keep telling all the girls to soak it in because getting two championships right away and being there and then going so long without being here and knowing what it takes and how much hard work and consistency over long periods of time, um, how much goes into getting here. Like I just, you know, just trying to soak it all in and just enjoy every second of it. You had some personal issues off the field that derailed your LFL career, but you seem to be in a better place. Has football brought balance to your life? Uh, yeah, football is my life. <laughs> so um, for so long it was my life, but now I think I am finding that perfect balance, uh, taking care of myself. Um, I think that was a huge thing for me growing up in my earlier 20s. I was just, you know, football and school and partying and it's just completely different now. I really think I've matured on and off the field and I do feel like I didn't reach my potential because I wasn't as focused as I am now, but I mean, I'm 29 now and sometimes you just gotta live and learn. Take us to that moment. Should you win Legends Cup tonight, the first time for LA since 2012, what will that moment mean to you and this team? Well, when we win, I don't really know how I'm gonna feel. Um, I don't know how to put a word or a sentence how to describe 10 years of playing and the ups and downs and the adversity that we've been through. I, I still can't believe that we're here, honestly. And uh, it's very humbling. And I just, I don't know what it's gonna feel like because how can you even put that feeling into words? It's clear Salerno and this team realize that they are the underdogs and that no one believed in them all season outside of their own locker room. It'll be interesting to see if the Los Angeles Temptations' improbable season ends with them proving everyone wrong. Back to you guys. Thank you, Heidi. And it is tough to ever count out someone with the heart of a lion, the heart of a champion like Ashley Salerno. It's time to lace them up. The finale of our 10th anniversary season and the LFL's newest champion will be crowned. Legends Cup 2019 is next. All the fanfare is just about over. It's time to get started with the 2019 Legends Cup. Showwear Center just outside of downtown Seattle is packed and ready to go as the Seattle Mist look to get their third Legends Cup championship. Standing in the way is Ashley Salerno and that LA offense and Ashley Salerno needs to get it done tonight. Yeah, she has to. She's she's coming into this game. She's been playing really well. That entire offense has been playing well, but yeah, she's got to get back to that form that she had once upon a time and show up big tonight. First play for Salerno and the LA offense. Give to Mariah Lopez on first down. She'll pick up a couple. Mariah was the reason they're even in this game. Let's meet Mighty Mouse and the rest of the LA offense. Monique Axiola, center. Sherry Awaga, tight end. D. Harvey, tight end. Ann Erler, receiver. Michelle Kinney, wide receiver. Mariah Lopez, running back. Ashley Salerno, quarterback. Second and eight, they'll give it to Lopez again. Little train around the left side. Nothing doing there. The Seattle defense stiffens. Stevie Schnorr was there first for Seattle. Yeah, you have to expect them to be, that Seattle it is, you have to expect them to come in ready to stop this run. Mighty Mouse was all over the place last week getting to this championship game. You know how much of a, a part of that offense she is. I expect Seattle to really key on her and try and find a way to stop her early on. A big third down for Ashley Salerno and the L.A. Temptation early in this 2019 Legends Cup. Third and six. Salerno will throw. Pressure. Just throws it up in the air. Wobble and duck almost picked off. Kiara Williams almost intercepted for Seattle. Oh, it's looking like I'm seeing some nerves right here. You're going to have to find a way to... Not just throw it up for grabs right there. You see that? Fourth down coming. Let's meet the Seattle team. Shay Norton, defensive end. Kira Bryant, defensive end. Danielle Hawkins, linebacker. Jade Randall, free safety. Stevie Schnorr, strong safety. Kira Williams, corner. Mimi Gleaves, corner. A big fourth down play early in the 2019 Legends Cup. 
Ashley Salerno needs to get six yards on this play. She's going for a lot more than that. And off the hands of Hallie Chiskra. Seattle will take over on down. Uh, yeah, you know, we started off talking about that this game could be determined by the quarterback play, but it's turning out that it's the receiver play right now. You can't do anything better than this. Salerno put it in her hands. She has to make that play. Here Just comes KK Matheny for the first time for the Seattle offense. Been a solid season for KK. And she looks to be on time and on target. Now, I've always said in this league, if you are that quarterback where you're accurate, yeah. you can hit your receivers. You don't have to go deep on every play. You'll go far, and that's just what KK Matheny has done. Well, she's doing that, but ask Salerno right now about getting it to your quarterback. <laughs> I mean, getting it to your players from the quarterback position and them catching it. The Seattle Miss take over. At the LA 19, a short field. They'll hand off to Stevie Schnorr. Here comes the bull, but she's dragged down by Chelsea Hart after a gain of two. Yeah, I expect to see Seattle ride this bull, and LA is going to have a hard time avoiding those horns all night long, man. Horns up, Seattle. Second down and eight from the LA 17. Matheny will throw on second down. There she is, Stevie Schnorr, wide open. Nine yards for a Seattle first down, and that offense is rolling early. They're going to play a physical game. You, you saw what happened with L.A. last week. They established that mentality, running the ball. Seattle's going to come out and try to be physical and show that they can play that type game as well. Seattle with tempo, first and goal from the eight. That pass just out of the reach of Stevie Schnur. Yeah, it's obvious what the game plan is, but Coach Michelson is not happy right now. Got the touchdown! Damn it. I agree, coach. They missed one. That was a touchdown on that play. Let's go! Michelson wants tempo, and like I said, an on-target quarterback. No, KK Matheny was not on target there. Oh, no. <laughs> and she's hearing about it. <laughs> and early in the game, Michelson fired up. Second and goal from the eight. The temptation on a blitz. Matheny rolls out of it, fires to the goal line, dropped by Katie Whalen. That's a good job by Matheny using her feet. You worry about the foot speed now, but she was able to avoid everything and get it done. Seattle will huddle up. Let's meet the missed offense. Katie Whelan, center. Jade Randall, tight end. Savannah Woods, tight end. Dominique Malloy, receiver. Kira Williams, wide receiver. The Bull, running back. KK Matheny, quarterback. And on third and goal for Seattle from the eight. Matheny to throw again. Look into the end zone. Jade Randall dropped. Dropped. The former MVP can't haul it in. Oh, it hit her in a bad spot. You know, both of these quarterbacks need their receivers to make plays. We saw it happen for Salerno and Jade. It just let one go in the end zone. That's got to be a touchdown right now. You want to get that cup. You're trying to make your quarterback the goat. And then you got the butterfingers going for you. Fix it. Matheny missed Schnorr on that slant. Should have been a touchdown. But then Whalen and Randall with drops, and now it's fourth down for Seattle. Empty backfield for Matheny on fourth and eight. Got to get into the end zone, and Matheny throws. Complete touchdown, Seattle. Kiera Williams on fourth down. And Seattle strikes first. And that was a strike by Matheny. You, you talk about an accurate ball, got it right past the linebacker. Nice catch at the end of it. Just good protection. Everything about this play. Watch the zip on this ball as it just flies right past the back of its fingertips. That's a good ball. That's a good throw. That's a good throw. Seattle will go for one. Stevie Schnoor, the bowl, will line up under center. What do you think she's going to do? She's going to live up to her nickname. <laughs> Give them the horns. Right okay. into the end zone, and the conversion is good. Seattle goes up 7-0. A six-play, 19-yard short field drive. They ate up two minutes and 56 seconds of clock, and they go up 7-0. Power football right here at the end. That's sending a message. Timeout on the field. So Seattle shuts down the L.A. offense and then turns around and goes 19 yards to the house to take a 7-0 lead early in this 2019 Legends Cup LFL football night. There's an unwritten rule somewhere that you can't do a sports broadcast without a fish <laughs> toss shot. You guys attack, attack. They cannot run on us. They cannot run. Once you stop that, you dictate their pace. That's what we fucking want. Dictate their pace tonight. 
I want the wobbly crows. You cannot let the just you cannot let Hagley get that fucking corner route, with that backside wheel route. That is the most important fucking goddamn person on the team. They're gonna release both corners. Sherry's either on a seam or a corner route. Hallie's either on a seam or a corner route. You guys just fucking seal her off, wall her off, don't let her get to the route. Be aggressive, guys, be smart. I'm sending an email to the commissioner right now. In 2020, I just want a Chris Michelson cam. I want a Chris Michelson <laughs> mic'd up. I, w- I just want to watch him the entire game. He's animated, but he, everything he's saying is right. Stop what they do best, and then you dictate the pace. That's what that's what defensive football is all about. And you know the former defensive all-pro loves defensive football. Back to Lopez on first down. Not much there. We sat down and talked to Mariah heading into this Legends Cup. Mariah, it's been nothing short of a Cinderella-like season for you. You came in for an injured Nas Johnson, and you never looked back. You're now at the doorstep of immortality should you win a Legends Cup. Do you think you're going to have some butterflies tonight? Yes. Oh, I'm extremely nervous, but I'm so grateful for this opportunity. I'm so blessed to be here. This is amazing feeling, and being out there, I'm just going to go all out and play with my heart, play with everything I have in me, and it's going to be a battle, and I'm excited to do this with my sisters, my football sisters, and... We're just going to go to war and give it all we got. And thank you again to Heidi Goldsnick for that interview. Ashley Salerno tried to do like a little bootleg, only got two yards on second down. Nene Gleaves was there to put a stop to that. Yeah, she got the boot, didn't have enough leg to get outside. <laughs> Gleaves is right there, solid tackle, physical tackle. Seattle right now is just trying to impose their will and just be physical after seeing what, what L.A. did to get into this game. I, I like the mindset of trying to just fight that fire with fire. Temptation hasn't done much on offense, facing a third and five at their own 20 right now. Handoff, Mariah Lopez. Looked like a read option. Yeah. Maybe Salerno should have kept it because Lopez loses one, and that'll bring up fourth down. I promise you, Mariah wishes she, she had kept it. That hurt. <laughs> Danielle Hawkins and Shane Norton <laughs> in on the tackle there. You see Shane Norton. Great play to come up and force a fourth down for the L.A. offense. Fourth and six from their own 19. They need to get out to midfield. And even more importantly, they just need to keep a drive alive. Yeah, absolutely. You've got to reestablish that mindset that you had in the last game. Yeah, they kind of stepped up and knocked Austin right in the mouth. They're not doing that with the Seattle Miss defense. Salerno to throw on fourth down. Looking deep down the field. Pass is broken up by the Seattle defense. Nene Gleaves was there for the mist. Yeah, and Gle- Seattle takes over on deck. Yeah, Gleaves was there. I mean, look, look, look at the head coach right here. Darius is going crazy because he thought there was some pass interference. And, and you know what? At first look, I'm thinking that that could have been, a, a, there should have been a flag thrown on that one with the pass inter- interference. But I can't wait to see this replay and just see for certain with a second look as the ball goes down. So Lerno puts it up. Didn't put quite enough air on it, and Hall had to come back. I'm, I'm looking at that. I think Jay Randall was clean on that one. At first, I thought it was pass interference, but, but Randall got her head around. Hey, That's a clean play. That's the all-pro defensive back I was waiting for. You guys never <laughs> committed pass interference, ever. <laughs> Handoff on first down. Dominique Malloy, kind of a jet sweeper on the right side, still on her feet. Gets down to the 15-yard line, inside the 10. And 10 yards on first down, and the Seattle offense just keeps rolling. I mean, they're just pushing him around right now, Chet. Tempo once again for the missed. First and goal inside the 10 at the 9-yard line. Matheny to throw, looking to the end zone. Complete! Savannah Wood with the reception down to the 2-yard line. There is a flag on the play. Our referee tonight for the 2019 Legends Cup is Jeff Sidoris. Let's see what he has to say. Personal foul, roughing the passer, unnecessary roughness and excessive contact with the quarterback. Defense number one. That penalty be a half the distance to the goal from the end of the run and an automatic first down. So that'll make it first and goal from the one, and I don't think you need to give the Seattle missed any more advantages in this game. Absolutely. The way they're playing right now, you don't want to give them second chances, and we've seen this formation once tonight. Yeah, on the conversion earlier, Stevie Schnorr just lines up under center and lives up to her nickname again. The Bull in from one yard out. And it's 13-0 Seattle. Horns up. Horns up. Just power formation right now. They are just trying to impose their will. This right here is just an attitude play. 
the run game on offense, I always say, is just about showing that, that this is the attitude, this is the mindset that you have for the game. On the short field, three plays, 19 yards. Seattle in the bunch formation again for that one-point conversion. Stevie Schnorr, the ball goes in, and it's 14-0 Seattle. Earlier, Heidi Goldsnick sat down with the former MVP, Jade Randall, ahead of this 2019 Legends Cup. Considering how competitive this league gets every season and coupled with the fear of a season-ending injury like the one Ali Albert sustained, how do you convince younger players on your team to really take in this moment, the Legends Cup, knowing no one is promised to ever be on this stage again? I mean, you're right. This is the Legends Cup. It's a big deal. Um, all eight teams would love to be there, be here, and there's only two of us. So we, we stress it and reiterate it in practice to go hard every play because there are season-ending injuries and you don't know if that could be your last play. So we really talk about just living in the moment and enjoying being here um, and hopefully going hard every play ends up with a championship. The LA offense will start with two minutes left to go in this first quarter. Salerno deep down the right side, off the hands of the receiver, intended for Delaney Hall. Good defense there again by the Seattle Mist, and the Mist are firing on all cylinders. Yeah, they definitely are. They're making the plays when they need to. Williams is not the one I try to pick on downfield like that. Uh, but Salerno, is, she has to find something. She has to make a play. This offense has to find a way to sustain a drive, make some plays, and really show that they're here to play right now. It seems like the nerves are getting to them. Like this big stage, like they, they don't seem to be ready for it. On second down, empty backfield for Salerno. The snake to throw. She'll check down. Hallie Jistra with the reception. Seven yards out to the 22. And maybe a little more of that for the LA offense. Yeah, definitely. Find a way to get the chains moving. Get some positive plays. Reestablish that mindset that you had in the previous game that got you to this Legends Cup. They got to get more physical. They're getting pushed around. Got to make some plays. Inside a minute to go now in the first quarter of this 2019 Legends Cup. A much more manageable third and three for the LA Temptation. Salerno to throw. Shook to, nope, try and get out of pressure. And the missed defense swarms her under. She got a yard on third down. Danielle Hawkins finally cleaned everything up there. Uh, just speed on this defense. Right now, you look at this missed team on both sides of the ball. They're playing faster. Yet they're playing more physical. LA's got to come up with the first down. They have to move these chains to show that they can compete right now. This fourth down play most likely the final play of the first quarter in the 2019 Legends Cup. Empty backfield for Ashley Salerno. They need to get to midfield for the first down. Salerno looking out to the right. Annie Erler, she's hit right away and dropped. Kira Williams slams her to the turf. And Seattle takes over again on downs. Oh, my goodness. I thought that was a first down. I thought it was a great play call. And I, did I just mention playing faster? Daniel Hawkins comes over and said, boom, take that. And now here's the WWE move to the ground and just get the cleanup by Williams. They are just playing more physical, playing faster. That looked like it hurt, Chet. <laughs> L.A. has had the ball twice. They've gone four and out twice as we are at the end of one and the Seattle Mist completely dominant in this first quarter of the 2019 Legends Cup. One quarter complete in Seattle of the 2019 Legends Cup. Let's see where the coaches' heads are. Let's finish, guys. We need another score right the fuck now. We gotta put the nail in the coffin, all right? We gotta get a good drive here and punch it in the end zone. Wear them the fuck out right now. This shit isn't even close to being over. We have got to finish on this drive. I want a fucking good, clean drive right here. We're gonna get a dose of Stevie up the middle. Let's see what they fucking got. All right, we're gonna go to the end of the round, 21 dive give, all right? Hey, that adjustment, I'm actually gonna move KK in next to Mo against Wishbone. You take defensive end, left end. Hunter Hudson has a plan for that steady dose of the bowl that's coming. We sat down with Coach Michelson heading into the Legends Cup. Coach Michelson, having already established yourself as the first ever LFL Hall of Fame coach, how important is it for you personally to be chasing and finally eclipse that four championship mark set by the Chicago Bliss? I'm not really in the chase of anybody, so I just do my thing up here and, you know, I try to make players into great football players on and off the field. 
And uh, that's really all I care about. I'm not really into chasing someone else's legacy or chasing someone else's accomplishments. We just do what we do in Seattle. And if it comes with championships, and that's icing on the cake. It's two different guys. It's, there's the guy in the hat that's super animated, and then there's the guy without the hat. But you know what? I believe him when he says he's not chasing. Uh, you know what the good coaches I had that won at a high level and taught us at a high level, they were that same way, that mindset. Didn't think about the other guy. Taught us to not think about the other guy, but find your best. We already heard that Stevie Schnorr is going to be getting the ball here in the I formation starting the second quarter, and she does. And she is caught. Quickly, KK Phelps makes a big play. And maybe they can shift some, some uh, momentum on the L.A. sideline. Uh, they need to do that. They're going to have to play physical. And you know what's coming. We know Snore is coming. And since Snore is coming, you have an opportunity on that L.A. defense to show that you can stand up to it. And you, you can change things if you can be physical. We also knew that Coach Hudson was making an adjustment. So now are we playing chess as opposed to checkers? And will Coach Michelson make an adjustment? You know, I never understood that because you still have to plan out checkers, you know? You can't just move them around without a game plan. Second and seven, <laughs> Matheny will throw now. A little dump screen. Gets out of the clothesline tackle. Savannah Wood rumbles for nine yards down to the L.A. 12. Good mix of what they're doing here on Seattle with the offense. You're, you know you're going to get Schnorr, but they're still taking advantage of the quick passing game, making this temptation offense play honest. And it's a first down for Seattle at the 12. The ball goes to Jade Randall to the goal line. She reaches. Can't quite get in. And it'll be another first down, first and goal for Seattle. You talk about a problem if you're on the temptation defense. Right now, you have to concern yourself with Snore coming downhill. Now you got Jade Randall, just as physical, coming around on, on the end of rounds. Uh, you, it's, it's tough duty. Duty trying to figure out what's going on. It really is. K.K. Matheny is great with the ball fakes, too. She yeah. really is good at that quarterback position. Here comes that bunch formation again. First and goal from the one. Power the football. Ball. And she's in for another one-yard touchdown. Was that a bull or an elephant? That was the bull. Regardless, they, it could have been a bull or an elephant. It just blew all over the temptation defense and into the end zone. 20 to nothing, Seattle. Can I hear it again? <laughs> That's exactly what it sounds if you're wearing if you're wearing the, the the black and white right now. Bunch formation, Schnorr under center. Everybody knows it's coming, and they get in anyway for the one-point conversion from one yard out, and it is now Seattle Miss 21. The L.A. Temptation, nothing, and we are still early in the second quarter of the 2019 Legends Cup. A four-play, 24-yard scoring drive took a minute 41. Yeah, Hunter Hudson's on that sideline telling that Temptation defense, this is, these are the adjustments we want to make, but nothing's working. They're going to have to figure out a way to get more physical with this team, make some plays, because uh, right now they're getting pushed around, and I don't see this slowing down. I, right now it's starting to snowball on them. They're going to have to change some things. They at least need to get a first down. That would help. Two possessions in the first quarter, four and out both times. The L.A. offense starts again, and do they have an answer for the Seattle Mist? Salerno to throw. That's Hallie Jiskra. She'll make the catch. And there's a flag down on the play. 22 yards on the reception. We'll find out what Jeff Sidoris and his crew have called. Prior to the pass, holding defensive number seven. That penalty is declined. The result of the play is a first down. So finally something goes Jay right for him. Corner! Ellen. Jay! 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 Corner! Come on, Dini, I told you a million times! You cannot let her get by you! Uh, Salerno needed to get this one going. We're talking about them making some plays, and you also have to have your receivers Ooh. help you out. She's put some balls in the right positions. Nini Gleaves did get burned on that 22-yard reception, and now they'll give the ball to Mighty Mouse, Mariah Lopez. She'll rush for seven yards inside the Seattle 10-yard line down to the six. 
Mighty Mouse making her presence felt. Well, if they can get Lopez established, if you you get a big play, it softened things up. Now you got the run going. If you can get that mix, now you can get back into this. We know this team is capable of scoring quickly. LA can get a first down at the Seattle three. It is second and three now. Empty backfield for Salerno. She's going to run with it. Gets out of pressure. Now she tries to throw back across the middle and complete. Hallie just grub bails her out. The Seattle defense keeps Hallie from going into the end zone. Shane Norton and Kara Bryant there to make the stop. Yeah, didn't like to play selection at first, but then you see Salerno just stay calm, try to make a play, but you just called it. Norton closes, good tackle, the speed is showing up, the, the physicality is there at the end of the play and they don't allow her to get into the end zone. You think that was a rollout pass or she freelanced that? I think she freelanced on that. I thought she schoolyarded it a little bit. First and goal though, for LA from the two, they'll try and power the ball into the end zone. Salerno, did she get there? They say no. And the Seattle defense says no. That's the first time we've seen a power formation stop, but it was Seattle on defense this time. Now, I think I'd line up and try it again, Chet. I like the, the mindset. Sneak. I do. I like the mindset that they have right now. They got to this game playing power football, running the ball, being physical. Forget all the things that happened. That's what they did best to get to this game in the playoffs. Do it again. Second and goal. Hand it off to Lopez, and she'll walk into the end zone. Finally, the L.A. Temptation gets something good happening. Give it to Mighty Mouse. Wasn't, it wasn't the quarterback sneak. It's still power football. Just go straight downhill. Mighty Mouse says, I got this. I got this. They're on the board. That, that, that changes things. Five plays, 35 yards, two minutes and 59 seconds. The L.A. scoring drive. And they're going for two I here. don't like it. Run the ball. Salerno with the empty backfield. They're going to throw. Down 21-6, going for a two-point conversion. Seattle with pressure. Salerno throws, looking for Lopez in the end zone. And it, the ball goes out of bounds. Bad and call. the conversion is yeah. no good. Bad call, Coach. You want these ladies coming to the sideline with the mindset that the we have reestablished who we are right now, as opposed to thinking about that. Matheny in the mist. We'll try and build on that 21-6 lead when we come back. Back in Seattle for the 2019 Legends Cup. Let's go to the L.A. sideline. We've been playing great. We've been forcing fourth downs. We've been forcing bad throws. This is our first long field. We're going to get our stop right here. He's a believer, Coach Hudson. Look at that. That's Jessica Hopkins. Look at the She's bling. got two rings for the Seattle Mist. Looks great that. to see her in the building tonight. Coach Michelson and K.K. Mathidi and the Seattle Mist take over again. Up 21-6 with 5.21 left to go in the second quarter of this 2019 Legends Cup. Chet Buchanan and Eric Davis, what do you think the Miss need to do on this drive? We'll continue to run the ball. You make them have to tackle, see if they really want to do it. Stevie Schnorr is in the I formation. They'll do jet sweep instead, Dominique Malloy. The LA defense sniffs that out. Danielle Harvey, she knows what it's like to win a championship. Yeah, and she also knows how to stop a fly sweep around, the, around his end by Malloy. Now, they're not allowing him to get outside, and you know what? That last that last drive, Chet, maybe it, they got a little energized, and they're trying to play a little bit more physical. And LA surprised everybody last week when they beat Austin. There's still time <laughs> for them to get back into this. Exactly. They were able to put points up. They got that run game going, and we saw it on the last drive. They're not out yet. Seattle facing a second and eight. Matheny, play action. She'll throw down the right side. Hey, Dominic Malloy behind the defense for a touchdown. That was such a good ball by Matheny. The play fake was there. Great wheel route by Malloy. Everything executed perfectly. When, right when you're thinking that this Temptations defense is getting back into it, you get a big play like that. What a great play by Coach Michelson, too. That's a great call. That's a gut punch right there. I mean, Matheny just put this one right in stride behind the defense. Malloy does the rest. Dominique Malloy for 33 yards. Seattle going for the one-point conversion again. 
and they will get it. Stevie Schnorr goes into the end zone, and they are now up 28 to 6 with 4.25 to go in the first half. And they are more importantly back on top when it comes to the momentum. The crowd's back into it. You're playing in front of your home crowd. You got things going right when the temptation started to try and get lift their heads and get back into it. You just push them back down. So now let's see if this temptation offense can come out. And once again, Chet, they, they have to reestablish the fact that they can compete. And you were pointing on that wheel route, too. You were pointing at Dominique Malloy. Came all the way across the field, beat the linebacker down the field. You should coach in this league. You and Coach Michelson. I like it. Actually, I like it right here. Oh, Ashley Salerno takes a big hit as she stood tall in the pocket and looked downfield. I just wanted to let everyone at home feel that lick. The same way Salerno had to feel it on that one. That's, I mean, that's just good football. I'm shocked they didn't throw a late flag. I'm glad they didn't. But I'm shocked they didn't throw a flag on that one. Savannah Wood, the one who laid the lumber on Salerno, now second and ten. She'll hand off this time. Mariah Lopez grabbed down. They get her by the weave again. <laughs> we know it's not a weave. That's the thing. We know I, it's real. I, I, as I said before, in the playoffs, that's the strongest ponytail I've ever seen. I'm just going to leave it at that. As many times as Mariah Lopez got pulled down by the Austin defense last week. By the ponytail. We know that it's real. I, yeah. I said it then. I'll stick to it. Three yards out to the 18 for Lopez. It's third down and seven. Empty backfield for Salerno. She'll throw. Looking deep again. Looking for Mariah Lopez again. And there's a flag on the play. This time that hip may have come in late. Make up call. That's what this is. Personal foul, roughing the passer, Seattle number 10. That's a 10-yard penalty from the line of scrimmage, and it's an automatic first down. Savannah Wood again. She didn't hit her nearly as hard this time. That's it! That's it. Sometimes it pays to talk to the refs. I think Salerno talked him into it. You can do that, man. I used to do it all the time before the games. You talk to the refs, you get on their side, they give you flags or black thereof. That'll put L.A. in business on the Seattle side of the field. Mighty Mouse with the carry on first and 10 from the Seattle 22. She'll get five yards inside the 20, down to the 17. Another flag on the play. And we'll get the call from referee Jeff Sedaris. Here he is. During the run, holding Los Angeles number 18. That's a five yard penalty from the spot of a foul. Replay, first down. That's why that hole was so big. Uh, yeah, that, that's part of the reason why it was so big, but I still like the mindset. They're running the ball, they're trying to show that, that this is what got us here, this is what can keep us in this game, get us back into this game, and give us an opportunity to win. Backs L.A. up to their side of the field. It's now first and 20 from their own 18. Salerno play action. Looks over the middle. Has a receiver wide open. She overthrew her by five yards. Talking about missing miles by miles. That was wide open. Salerno can't do that. You've been in this game before. You understand the magnitude of this game. You're trying to win a Legends Cup. And that's, that's, you can't give points away. When you're behind like this, you can't give points away. That's completely on the quarterback. I'm looking at this and thinking, what a big difference that would be. 28-13 versus 28-6. Absolutely. That's a huge miss by Salerno. Let's we'll see if they can make up for that mistake on second and 20. Salerno, she's, we'll call it a sack. She's behind the line of scrimmage. She's sacked, trying to get out of the pressure. Kiara Williams and Danielle Hawkins there for the missed defense. Yeah, Williams is one of the young players on this team that they should be able to build around in the future. This is a veteran-laden team, and they're playing like it. You, you, Seattle missed. They look like they understand. This is the two-minute warning. Timeout. Two minutes left to go in the first half of the 2019 Legends Cup, and it looks like the wheels are coming off for L.A. Two minutes to go in the first half of the 2019 Legends Cup. It's been all Seattle. Let's go to the L.A. sideline. 
and she was right there. I'm not blaming it on them, but what is going on? Are we not rushing? Are we too, like, what the fuck is going on? It's not, we're not playing great, Hunter. We're losing 28 to six, and I, and I know you're trying right now, but we need to come with a plan and a solution to fix this in the second half. We look like shit. Bottom line, we look like shit. They're out coaching us right now, and we're not coming with a solution, but they keep answering us with when they get inside the 10. What's going on? Or, or am I getting double teamed? Or, or she's not following her? What is going on? What's, what's the problem? I have always been a huge Mo Gaxiola fan. She is the heart and soul of the Los Angeles Temptation. I love what she's saying right there to her coach, Hunter Hudson. Absolutely. Third and 21 there for LA. And a three yard game, that's not Yeah, that, that's nothing. And, you know, and I, I love what Mo Gax was doing as well. You know, make the coaches accountable. When you have veteran players, you're out there, you, you take responsibility, you take ownership of what's happening. And I like the fact that you're saying, hey, give me something to work with. You're being out coached right now. We're getting our butts handed to us. You're supposed to be helping us out. Fourth and a bunch for LA. We get down towards a minute left in the first half. And Salerno finally gets rid of it. Picked off. And she could go. Kiara Williams to the end zone. And it just gets worse for Los Angeles. Yeah, before the break, I was talking about the fact this is one of the young players that they can build around. It's a veteran-laden team. A lot of these ladies are getting ready to retire and know they're close to it. And you got a young star in Williams that just said, you know what, if you want to throw this candy out, I'll take it. I'll take it, trick or treat. You want to give me the candy, I'll just throw it. Salerno is just trying to make something happen, fourth down, just throwing it up for grabs, but you can't throw it in the middle of the field around playmakers. Danielle Hawkins had Salerno by the ankle like a dog gnawing on a bone and was not going to let her go. <laughs> and Salerno just, but you've got to eat that at that point, don't you? Or just, just throw it down. And now here, here we go with the bull again, once again. You know what's we happening. Go. Here we go with yeah, Ashley Salerno on the sidelines. Let's make that time. Let's make that time. Let's make that time. Thank you. Stop and go and stick with it, please. I'm not changing shit. So Coach Derry is saying that Ashley Salerno is changing the plays. And Ashley says that she is not. Who do you go with in that situation? Well, I have to go with her with the coach right now because the play wasn't run and she changed the play so i get that but also i understand from a player standpoint if things aren't working you have to change the plays but you always know because we used to do it all the time so, but you always know that if it works the coach takes the credit if it doesn't work then you have to deal with the wrath of the coach for changing the play but that's what veteran players do 35 6 seattle with a minute 11 to go till halftime. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> it's obvious that LA needs to do something. Is this it? Salerno's gonna try and do it herself. And she'll get taken down after a three yard gain. Danielle Hawkins makes the play again. Faster, more efficient, more effective. Uh, just playing better right now. That's what's going on. They, they, they got the energy from the crowd. Yeah. The coaches have them, have them lined up right now. And whatever play she changes it to, she needs to find yeah. one that works. Yeah, deep drop and chucking long isn't the way you're going to get no. back into this. You're not going to get back into it in three plays. you got to chip away at it. But here goes Salerno deep again. Sherry Awaga maybe was the intended target. No, Stevie no. Schnorr does it on her. Yeah, Stevie Schnorr was the closest one. Absolutely. She makes the interception, and it is just... I mean, without question, this is intended for Schnorr. <laughs> That's what you, were, you were just saying, you can't just try to get it back all in once. You have an entire half left to play. You're still in the first half right now. Right now, you need to just try and grind, reestablish what you're doing. Salerno is just trying to figure out a way to make plays. It, panic is setting in right now, and you can see it by those type plays. Five of 13 with two picks, a 32.7 quarterback rating in the first half for Ashley Salerno. This is absolutely not the game she wanted to have coming into this 2019 Legends Cup. 
Seattle will take over at their own five yard line. 30 seconds left to go in the half. You hear the whistle. Uh, yeah, you hear the whistle. It seemed like uh, the Coach Michelson took a timeout. Did they let them run that play? We'll take a timeout as well and try and get it all sorted out. Seattle missed up big heading into halftime of the 2019 Legends Cup. Back in Seattle just before halftime, and it appears there may be a mutiny brewing on the LA sideline. Are you doing? Are you doing what's working? Are we losing? I didn't know. No, I did not know we made that adjustment. I'm, te I'm telling you right, right now. now. When we go in, okay, that's okay. Yes. we need to put more pressure on her. Okay. Her coming from the backside is obviously not doing shit. So we need to switch. So it flushes her, right? I will flush differently. Just keep me on the left side. No. Okay. I'm telling you, we need to fix something because what the fuck is happening is not working. We ain't gonna go with it right now. Okay. Deep, deep cover three. Harvey's roaming for the short shit. Deep cover three. So Mo Gaxiola getting a few words in. Hang on a second. Stop everything. That's my favorite player of all time in the LFL. Danica Brace, the newly minted Hall of Famer in the crowd tonight. Yeah, ultimate individual honor in the ultimate team sport. You can't win a football game by yourself, but getting that Hall of Fame means that you did everything you possibly could to help your team. Scores 35-6. I can't get a little extra Danica Brace. I can't get a longer shot. That's my buddy. Uh, I, I, if I were on the cameras, I'd do it for you. Go I'm back sorry. to the Las Vegas Sin days. Before the break, that was a play that ran with Kara Williams getting the nine yards. So now on second and one, Matheny dumps it down to Katie Whelan. She's brought down rudely by Danielle Harvey, but not until Seattle got the first down. Great fucking play. Hey, great coverage. You took away the primary option. Way to sit there and find your read. Nice play. And with 14 seconds left to go in the first half, Seattle is called timeout. The 2019 Legends Cup. Back to Seattle with 14 seconds left before the half. Seattle up big in the 2019 Legends Cup. Chad Buchanan and Eric Davis and Chris Michelson wants blood. I love it. I love it. I mean, they have been dominating this entire game. Whenever, whenever L.A. found a way to get back into it or try to get some momentum, they would go right for the jugular. I love it. So on first down, Matheny from her own 19. Looking downfield, she'll check it down again to Katie Whelan, but she's met right there. Monique Gaxiola, Mo Gax, making a big play and trying to get her team fired up. She's, she's doing everything she possibly can. And that will bring us to the end of the first half. Seattle up 35-6. to six. Let's head down to the field and Heidi Goldsnick. Guys, I'm with a frustrated Mo Gaxiola. Mo, you guys seem to be struggling on both sides of the ball out there. What's happening? I honestly don't even have the answers. I'm looking at the sideline, looking to get coached up, and this is something that, honestly, uh, we've been battling all season, and it's, it's showing tonight. You know, there's only so much us as players out there that can we can try to fix. Um, we're simply being outcoached, unfortunate to say, and I said it last time I played against Seattle. The biggest thing is that we're going to get outcoached, and that's what's happening tonight, you know. We can only do so much, and all I can continue to do is tell these girls to continue to fight because at this point we have nothing to lose. So it's just to continue to keep our heads up and go out, you know, go out as strong as we can from here on out. All right, thanks, Mo. Guys, we'll see if they get coached up at halftime, but this is not the L.A. temptation that we've seen all season. Back to you guys. Sharp criticism from the heart and soul of the L.A. temptation, and with good reason. Seattle up big at halftime of the 2019 Legends Cup. You give me everything or you give me nothing. That's how I am. I'm not 50-50, I'm not one foot in, one foot out. We're all in and we're all out. But guys, this is it. We're gonna finish together and we're gonna host the fucking cup in 20 minutes. But you gotta play sound football for 20 minutes. Seattle Mist head coach Chris Michelson, he smells blood and he wants blood in that Seattle Mist locker room. On the other side with the LA Temptation, Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow is right. Welcome back to halftime at the 2019 Legends Cup LFL Football Night. My name is Chet Buchanan alongside Eric Davis. And considering how well 
L.A. played last week against the number one ranked team in the league, the Austin Acoustic. Does it shock you that they're down 35 to 6? Yeah, shocking is not the word. I'm going to go more disappointed. I, I think the players are disappointed. The coaching staff is disappointed that they can't put up a, a better performance on the field right now. You hear the players. We heard one of their star players leaders say before the half that they don't believe that the coaches can even coach them up well enough to win this game. These guys are just snake bitten right now. Yeah, it's tough. And KK Matheny on the other side for the Seattle offense has been the, the hallmark of efficiency. <laughs> what was she, seven for 10 yes. in that first half? She distributed the ball all over the field. Katie Whelan, Kiara Williams, Savannah Woods, Stevie Schnorr, all getting the ball out of the hands of KK Matheny. So now the question becomes, we know Chris Michelson. What do you think you're going to see in this second half? Are we going to keep throwing the ball with Matheny, or is it going to be a steady diet of the bull, Stevie Schnorr, and we'll just run that clock? That's what I Have do. I answered your question right do. now? The bull will get the ball. I think you just give her the ball. You allow her to continue to take over the second half the same way she took over the first half. They can't figure out what to do with her. Why would you remotely go away from it? If you love a high-scoring football game, you love this 2019 Legends Cup. If you're an L.A. Temptation fan, you don't like it quite so much. Let's take a look at the first half scoring plays. Seattle scored 35 first half points and Kiara Williams opened the game scoring. With an eight yard touchdown reception from KK Matheny, Seattle goes up seven early. Then Stevie Schnorr. They get in that bunch formation at the one yard line. Stevie lives up to her nickname, the Bull. Back to back, one yard touchdown runs. Seattle is in command 21 to nothing. LA finally breathes some life into their offense as Mighty Mouse, Mariah Lopez scores on her her own one yard touchdown run. LA has a little bit going, but they can't make the conversion. So it's 21 to six. Then Dominique Malloy gets into the act. We didn't even mention her when we were talking about first half passing stats. She took a KK Matheny pass to the house with a 33 yard touchdown. And then right before the half, Kiera Williams intercepted Ashley Salerno, a 26 yard pick six. Seattle is up 35 to six at the half and now let's take a look at our first half stats well chet la had to come into this game wanting to control the clock and in the first half they held the ball over 12 minutes they did exactly that but they only got six points and 60 yards in the process of doing that they're gonna have to do much better and if you look at what happened with their fourth down conversions they were 0 for 4. gotta extend some drives if you want to give yourself an opportunity in this second half to be able to compete, get some points on the board, and get back into this one. Los Angeles has proven it can rally and light up the scoreboard, but they will need a major bounce back in the second half. Here we go. The second half is next. We are ready to start the second half of the 2019 Legends Cup from Seattle, Washington, at the Showwear Center where the missed fans, the party has already started because their team is up 35 to six. Let's head down to the field to Heidi Goldsnick. Guys, I'm with Stevie Schnorr, the Bull of Seattle. First, Stevie, can I call you the Bull? Absolutely, that's <laughs> like my name. Nobody even knows my real name. <laughs> All right, you guys seem to come out with a tremendous energy in the first half that LA just couldn't match. How do you avoid a second half meltdown? You know what, it's zero zero. It doesn't matter what the score is right now. We're gonna go out the same intensity as the first half. There's 20 minutes, anything can happen, but we're not gonna let it happen. All right, thank you so much, Stevie. Guys, the Bulls not running with anybody. We'll see what they got in this second half. Back to you. Coach Michelson and the Seattle Miss going to keep their foot on the gas in this second half, as you might expect. Yeah, of course. You know, teams always say that. You know, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. No, it's 35-6. to six. And if I'm coaching this team, I'm letting them know, Open keep left. doing what you're doing. You are totally dominating this club. They can't figure anything out. Don't stop now. Saw those stats a minute ago. KK Matheny, 7 out of 10 for 71 yards. Two touchdowns in the first half. And I would not be shocked. I know we talked about it at halftime. Just give the ball to the bowl, but they start with an empty backfield. Matheny is going to throw on first down, up 35 to 6. Pass intended for Kiara Williams. There's going to be a flag on that play. Yeah, I'm still shocked that they came out throwing the ball, but looking at it from the Los Angeles side, that's what you want them to do. But you have to be aggressive and make some plays, but you can't You can't get penalties. Pass interference, defense number 13. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. 
You, know, you, you have to make some plays out here. I, I get being aggressive. Uh, they're calling pass interference on this. And, uh, I'm sorry, Chet. That's not pass interference. <laughs> if you're the Los Angeles player, you have the right to that real estate as well. They can't just run through you. That's a bad call. And be aggressive if you're Los Angeles right now. Understand that's a bad call. Don't feel like everything's going against you. Pass interference. Five, four, three. Time What's out, going time on out, here? Kick him a The play clock was on zero. How the fuck are y'all gonna give that to them? You wanna blow the whistle when they call timeout and it hit zero? Come on, yo. That's what I was telling you. Pay the fuck attention to the game. If you see the play clock going, I'm telling you, look at the clock. Look at the clock. Try to distract him. What do you mean what? They're taking a sweet ass time. Just pay attention, y'all. So there's an issue with where the ball was spotted and how much time was on the play clock. We'll take a break and get it all sorted out early in the second half of the 2019 Legends Cup. So Matheny wasn't happy with where the ball was spotted. Gaxiola wasn't happy with the idea that Seattle got a timeout called before the play clock ran out. They've got it all straightened out. It's first and 10 Seattle at their own 18. I absolutely love Gaxiola. Love the mindset. Love how she's trying to take charge. Love how she's pointing everything out to her players, the coaches, and the rest now. She really is one of the all-time greats on first down. End around, ball is fumbled, picked up by Kiara Williams, and she's got some room down the sideline. And after picking up the fumbled handoff, she'll get 12 yards and get into L.A. territory. And when things are going your way, you can really tell because that football's not round. It takes some odd bounces, but when they start bouncing right back into your hands that way and then you get the huge gain, you pick up the first down on a busted play, uh, you know it's your night. Seattle Drive continues at the LA 20, up 35-6. Chet Buchanan and Eric Davis, the 2019 Legends Cup. Handoff up the middle, there's the ball, Stevie Schnorr. Six yards on first down. And I imagine we'll see a bunch of that until yeah. this game's over. Yeah, that's what we've been expecting in this second half, that they were gonna come out. They started run, you know, throwing the ball, doing the misdirection stuff, and uh, looked like Jake Reynolds down. Official out for an injured player. So while they take a break and tend to Jade Randall, we will take a break here as well. Seattle up big in the second half of the 2019 Legends Cup. Jade Randall appears to be okay, maybe that right ankle. You know, I'm not gonna speculate. You know, I'm not a doctor, even though I play one on TV. I'm going on YouTube, by the way. I want to see that. <laughs> this is something I need to see. But she doesn't. No, she okay. walked off. Yeah, she walked off. And that, that's good. That's, that's what you want to see. You never want to see a player down. It's always good to see them walk off on their own power. Yeah. Yeah, like I was going and she hit me and I fell just like my knee just went. Boom. But again, she appears to be okay. Second and four for Seattle. Malloy goes in motion. She'll get the ball on a jet sweep. Inside the 10-yard line, she's brought down by T.J. Anderson, and a flag comes down. Could be holding here. It's kind of in that area. Michelson, he don't like it. He thinks it's holding. What's the call? During the run, holding. Seattle, number four. It's a 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. We play second down. One of the few miscues they've had the entire game. Well, let's see, do, do, do we really want to call this a hold? I don't know if I, you know, whenever you get your hands outside of a player, the ref has an opportunity to do it, they can. I don't know if you did enough on that play to say that you really impeded the player from getting to the play, so. Lou. Ticky tacky. Looks like they might still be downfield from that. Yeah, well, I mean, a, a long way from it. I don't know if I would have thrown that flag. Backs the mist up to the 20, where it's second and 10. Pitch to the left. Stevie Schnorr, the bull moving ahead, dragging players with her. Finally brought down at the 13 yard line. 
Now, this is what I expect to see in this half. Just see if they want to tackle. Just see if you can take. I, I played with a, a guy named Ronnie Lott, and that's what he used to always tell us, that you, you need to try and take the other player's will from them. Like, take their heart, own it, make it yours. And the way you did that was being physical by hitting people. And I want to see if that's what Seattle's going to do. And it looks like the bull has that mindset. A very manageable third and three. Schnorr in the eye. She'll get the ball straight ahead for a Seattle first down. And again, that's where you talk about taking their heart. They're just being physical, just running it through and just figuring if, if you can find a way to fix it on your side, then fix it. But until you do, you're going to get a whole lot of hope. Yeah. Until you can <laughs> stop her. Yes. We're going to keep running her. And it's you're actually, gonna, yeah, you got to figure out what to do with it. And you know, and as much credit as I want to give Hunter Hudson and Roy Derry for Rory uh, Derry for what they've done with this team this year, you know what? You got to get a little bit more organization. You can't be getting out coached like this. Game was to the ten. It's first and goal. Seattle high snap, and then Matheny throws it at Schnoor's feet. We'll bring up second down. And I, I do think both of these coaches have done a really good job with this L.A. Temptation team. Uh, but it, it's really, it, it has to be frustrating for them as a coaching staff and for the players when you hear players talk about the fact that you feel as if you're going to be out coached going into a game. They'll be upset when they see this later. Yeah, that's, that's definitely, you, you, can't, you can't have that mindset on your field. And how can you expect your team to come, come you can't. back when they've, that's how they're thinking. We're already done. You can't. Matheny gets the ball out to Jade Randall, and she gets into the end zone. Well, I guess that knee's okay. And the route this continues. Good call! Yeah, just give him a heavy dose of the bull running, and now you just get Jade Randall coming out on a flat route, and she's into the end zone. I mean, complete domination in every phase. And what, what do you think they're about to run? What do you think? Bunch formation, <laughs> bull in for the conversion. I didn't even look up. You don't need to. <laughs> no, you don't need if to. If it gets into short yardage, give it to the bull and see if anybody wants to bring her down. I mean, they're just right now just more powerful. They're playing faster. They're playing smarter. They're out executing. And they are being put in position by their coaches that are just better. Uh, this is co a complete domination. I guess that's what your Legends Cup champ is supposed to look like. I know it's a long it's way from get getting to the end. Yep, yep, we got him. Thanks, Joe. They're playing championship ball, though. Seattle starts the second half with an eight play, 35 yard drive, and takes 420 off the clock. That is championship football. Now, let's see what you got, Temptation. Let's see what type of fight you have. You've done a lot to get here. There's time, but it's running short. Mighty Mouse gets taken into the boards and stapled to the barrier by Stevie Schnorr. And listen to the hitting going on here. Uh, this has to be hard on Mighty Mouse. Yeah, Schnorr's playing, she's playing good ball. We all know that, but Mighty Mouse is one of those building blocks. I mean, Mighty Mouse is one of those building blocks for LA Temptation, and, and you're out here right now, and, and there yeah. does come a point where you realize, you know what, there's no hope. I'm playing yeah. hard, and, and you've got Schnorr out here getting the crowd up. That's hard on him. Schnorr's dominant on offense, dominant on defense, leading the cheers. Salerno chucks the ball down the field, and it's picked off. Hey, it's Stevie Schnorr. She's doing everything tonight. <laughs> Guess who? Is there anything she hasn't done? You're absolutely right. At some point, I wouldn't be shocked if she drops back and throws a touchdown pass. She's making every play across the board, making her presence known. That, that right there is a dominant play. We had that crowd shot a second ago. I half expected Stevie Schnorr to be up there selling beers. <laughs> She's done everything tonight. And the party is on in Seattle. And this, this right here is not just waiting for one to fall in your hands. That's tracking the ball, going up, high-pointing it, and then trying to turn around and get something done with it on the return. I mean, she's having a really good game. Uh, you know, you got the party going. You're playing in front of your home crowd. Hey, what happened? Did I underthrow you? Yeah. Yeah. My bad. My bad. Fuck! 
frustrating for Ashley Salerno. I really hope that she'd have a better game tonight. And so did everyone involved with the temptation. Yeah, truth. First down, Stevie Schnorr. The ball rumbling across midfield. Inside the 20. Put another 17 yards onto the total for Stevie Schnorr. And, and right back to the method that has gotten him there. That you know, Make them take their medicine. You have to tackle Stevie Schnorr. You're going to have to deal with them being physical. I like that they're saying this is the game plan. We're going to stick to it. Do something. As you saw on the screen a moment ago, Schnorr up over 40 yards for the game tonight. And it seems like she's had a lot more. Yeah, the game is 42 to 6, and it doesn't seem like it's that close. Understood. First and 10 inside the 20 for Seattle. Matheny to throw again. She'll dump it over the middle. Stevie Schnorr with the ball again and another 14 yards. Down inside the five, and it's first and goal again for Seattle. At what point do you decide if you are on the uh, L.A. Temptation defensive coaching staff that you're going to that you're going to double her, triple team snore, do, what, her do, what, do whatever is necessary to not allow her to be the player? First and goal at the five for Matheny in the mist. With an empty backfield. She'll throw the ball into the end zone. That's Jay Randall for another Seattle touchdown. There is a flag down. This may come back. That's the only thing that's keeping them out of the end zone. The right of the pass, holding Seattle's number 11. 10 yards from the previous spot. Replay first down. Seattle crowd just wants blood. They, <laughs> they want Seattle to put up 100 in the Legends Cup. Uh, it's a good call by the ref. There was a hole. Tight end is holding. You, you have to deal with that one. So now you will probably get an opportunity to see more Schnorr. Good pitch and catch between Matheny yeah. and Randall. Good, good pitch and catch, but that was definitely a hold on that one. Everything working for Seattle tonight. Even when they're even when they're holding, they're doing they're still it well. scoring touchdowns. Yeah, yeah. Even when they're holding, like I was, she held her for real. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, she, 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 put the, she put hands on her. She definitely did. If you're going to do it, I see what you're saying. Brings the ball back to the 19-yard line. Still first and goal. Trickeration for the mist. And Kiara Williams gets the ball inside the 10. Why not? Yeah, a little fight, a little fight, fighting going on. But yeah, go deep into the playbook. If it's in there, make them stop it. You know you can always go back to Schnorr, but why not get your other players involved? You got to get your per peripheral Open players left, back into it. And that's what Open they're doing. Left, five, well, you were up 42 to six. You had a first and goal at the 19. Why, why not, not run a double reverse? Why not? Why and not? I'm sorry, LA, if you're mad. Second and goal <laughs> Deal now with from you. the nine. <laughs> Matheny to throw. Nope, now she's got room to run inside the five. She'll slide down. Smart play there. Smart play. Well, that's got to hurt on that turf. It's a lot of exposed skin. Oh, yes. And I walked around on those fields. That's old school turf. Mm -hmm. yeah, it, it's very unforgiving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it, it's angry when you slide across it. Mm -hmm. I'm still wearing burns from, you know, 19, from the early 19. 90s. When? What? Yeah, I'm sorry. What year? 19. 19 right? Leather helmet? No, no. no. Ni 95 was better. the worst. Was the worst turf burn I ever got. Where was it at? Bush Stadium. When when oh, that was St. Louis turf. was playing there, it was horrible. Got a pretty good one in the old vet too. My turf burn was as big as the rats that used to run around there. Third and goal. Carol Williams stays on her feet, stretches to the end zone, and Seattle extends the lead. On the ground, still dominating, still being physical, still t still punching his team in the face. I, I love what they're doing. I love the mindset. Williams is taking it outside, and look at that stiff arm. She just literally tried to push someone out of their out of the body. Seattle sideline doesn't look nearly as happy as they could look. Up 48 to six, and on their way to their third Legends Cup bunch formation. Have you seen their coach? Yeah, it's pretty intense. Do, do, would you want to smile on that sideline while there was time? 
I know the play. That's why I'm still talking over it. Right? I know, <laughs> we know what's about to happen. <laughs> and into the end zone again, and they can't stop it. And Seattle goes up 49-6 to after a five-play, 36-yard drive. Three minutes and 48 seconds off the clock. Yeah, you, you hate seeing this, and, and it's, it, but it does get somewhat comical because I know that the, the ladies on this temptation defense are trying. They are just really, truly being outplayed right now. Uh, you, this Everything that is happening, it's just, it has snowballed. There's nothing they can do, and that belief is gone, and this is a tough game to play. Football is a tough game to play when you don't believe you have a shot. And they had such a great game last week against Austin when no one expected them to get into the Legends Cup. And now with under a minute to go in the third quarter, L.A. will start out. Mighty Mouse with the three-yard gain up the, up the middle, and Kiara Williams lays the leather on her. Yeah, you know, it's a real thing when you go into that game that you're not expected to win. And you put so much emotion into it, and that's what we saw the temptation do with Austin. They put so much into that game that no one gave them credit uh, to be in and didn't think they had a shot at. And you can see right now they started off flat and they haven't been able to pick it up. Salerno will keep it herself. She'll get out across midfield and slide down after a gain of nine. A first down for L.A., and time will most likely run out here in the third quarter of this 2019 Legends Cup. LA is not going to get to the line in time. 2-1, and that is the end of the third quarter. That is the quarter. end of the third quarter of play. And all Seattle again over eight minutes of possession in the third quarter. And the Mist are headed toward their third Legends Cup. Ten minutes. Put it all out on the line. You have no choice but to make it happen. The fourth quarter starts now. Oh, that's what you get to do when you're up by a million points. <laughs> yes, sir. You get to dance on the field Michael like that. Michael can let you dance. Yeah, wait a minute. Was he out there dancing? Who kidnapped Chris Michelson and allowed this to happen? All right, we're doing L6. L6. Seattle's up 49 to 6 as we begin the fourth quarter at the Showwear Center just outside of Seattle, Washington. Chet Buchanan and Eric Davis. The LFL Legends Cup. LA's got a first down. Just inside Seattle territory as we start the fourth. Ashley Salerno, another long pass down the field. Almost picked off by Jade Randall. She was hoping to find Sherry Owaga, but Jade Randall is the only one who went up for it. Well, Jade Randall was in good position. I mean, they're playing well in the run game, pass game. And Jade did push her in the back a little bit, got away with it. The L.A. offense is heading over to the sideline. Seattle defense doing the same. Salerno's got a problem with he what's said, going on. He's saying that. He's saying that. She put, he's saying that. We pushed them. We're not the ones beating you, okay? I'm 35 yards push, down the field. Push, I'm push. not going to call that from where then I am. Then get your crew together. Keep control. You, you get your control crew together. Your you get your control We're crew trying. together. We can't yeah. when you yeah. don't control yeah. the game. We're the ones beating you. Yeah. Push my off. Fault. It's my fault. I gave up 49 points. It's my fault. Wow. Wow. You even That's have the, the refs talking ever. mess. <laughs> Woo. LA getting beat by everybody. And what have we learned here as we come back to Seattle? The 2019 Legends Cup with Seattle up big. You've got to watch every minute of an <laughs> LFL game because you never know what you are going to see. And the refs are actually correct. They have taken 14 points off the board for them. LA on second down, give the ball to Mariah Lopez. After all of that five-yard gain to the Seattle 18. I mean, in theory, the refs did call back two touchdowns. And we know that the extra points have been good, so I, they really haven't put points up on the board. They've taken points off the board. But that was pretty comical. Yeah, where the ref is even telling Ashley Salerno, knock it off. We're not the ones beating you. It's just, that, that just showing that the frustration is just boiling over. 
third and five for LA. Salerno with Lopez in the backfield. The snake will throw out to the right side. Completed and free. Down the barrier, inside the five. That's Sherry Awaga with a 13-yard gain at an LA first down. They broke a tackle. And Williams tried to get her hands on the ball and couldn't do it. And then just, just run for that pylon, trying to get in. Jade Randall came in and put her on the board. Five, 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 on one. Ready? First and goal for LA at the five. Just run it in. Give it to Mighty Mouse. And that's the one thing we've seen too. When Salerno's not chucking the ball down the field, they have they have success. And, and there we go. Right on cue, partner Lopez into the end zone and a touchdown for LA. She's tough. She she has, she may be standing 5-2, but she has, you know has that mindset of a giant and she's gonna do everything she possibly can. So when you, get, when you have an opportunity to get her going, let her go. We saw in the playoffs that she has been that, she's been that lifeblood. She's been that heartbeat that has given that offense, you know, some identity. Give her an opportunity right now. Even with this, even down as much as they are, she's still fighting. Finally a smile from Coach Michelson <laughs> as LA will go for two here. And they'll hand the ball off to Lopez. She's brought down short. So it will remain 49 to 12 with under eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter. I'm okay with them trying to continue to run and can trying to continue to follow that hand that's got him there. And like, oh, Lopez is going off holding those ribs. And I, you know, we were wondering how that was going to affect her. And near the end of the last game, she had a great game, over 100 yards rushing, but she hurt those ribs. And that could be a part of why they haven't been able to get anything going. And she hasn't been able to get anything going. It's just been a tough day all around for the LA Temptation on the worst possible day to have a bad day when you're playing Absolutely. for the Legends Cup. Yeah. And you know what? On top of that, you have it playing for the okay, Legends Cup one, and you have it against a good team. You never, you're never. you always going to have bad days during the season, but you can't have it against a good team. LA needed to have good. their best day today. Yes, yes. Seattle will keep the ball on the ground on first down. Stephen Schnorr, the ball out to about the 20 yard line they'll mark that a gain of five she has to be one big bruise after the game i mean just the way she runs the ball the physical style of play that she has and you see it on both sides of the ball i mean she's she's a bruising runner but she's taking a lot of hits as well that's why they call her the ball it's a second and five Seattle up big. They'll keep the ball on the ground. Dominique Malloy. She'll get free around the edge. Across midfield, inside the 20. And another Seattle first down, but there's a flag. Miss Q in the backfield and still turns into a big game. Oh! Oh! God damn it. During the run, holding Seattle number eight, 10 yards from the end of the run, replay second down. God damn it! That ball will bring that run back into Miss Territory on the holding play. And there goes that smile we were talking about. Right back, Malloy, Malloy picks it up after the little miscue in the backfield, and there it is. It's a straight block in the back. You can't miss that one. And Baker did push her in the back, ref threw it, but the way things have been going, I mean, those those are the only breaks that the Temptation are getting. I mean, if, it, if it's not self-inflicted, they don't stop Seattle. And Michelson with his foot always on the gas. Oh, that's what you do. I mean, always. It's the other team's job to stop you. There is no such thing as running. You know, once you get beyond Pop Warner, there's no, no such thing as running up the score. Right. That's right. I mean, these are adults playing. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't want them to score anymore, stop, stop them. them. That's right. If you don't like what's happening, you find a way to stop it. If you don't like someone dancing or or showing you up, you stop it. And, and they've had an opportunity to do it, and they have not been able to find a way on the field or on the chalkboard. In the meantime, Stevie Schnorr gets the ball out across midfield, and another first down. Seattle. Matheny's going to throw. 
She'll get the ball to Savannah Wood, who heads down the sideline. Still going, a 17-yard gain, and Seattle is inside the red zone again. It's really nice just watching the way they execute this offense, the precision of it. Just the, just the way you can see the, the balls being thrown where they're supposed to be thrown, routes being run, and then the, just the physical play of this Seattle team. It's a mindset that they have across the board, and you see every player playing that way. They want to do their job the correct way and do it fast and do it strong. Another first and goal for Seattle. Handoff is to Malloy. She'll get down close to the goal line and into the end zone. More flags on the play. We'll see what the call is here. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened on this one just yet. Number eight was going forward at the snap. That's an illegal motion foul. Seattle, five-yard penalty. Replay first down. Okay. Michaelson's not going to like that, though, because it's sloppy. <laughs> Now, you know what he's doing. He's sitting there right now saying, I will never let them dance during a break as long as I'm coaching. It will never happen again. Uh, correct it. As long as I'm alive, I don't have to be the coach. I will call down to the sideline. And whoever's coaching the miss, I'm going to say, stop the damn dancing. <laughs> I don't care how far you're up. That's fantastic. So it's first and goal, Seattle, back at the 11. Busted play, Matheny looking to throw. She'll shovel pass. Get it to Jade Randall, almost back to the line of scrimmage. They're going to mark it as a loss of one. Danielle Harvey made the play there, and this has got to be tough on that vet. She was there in 2012, the last time the Temptation won a title, and this has got to be just yeah. horrible. Yeah, you know, you don't want to be a part of that. And she looked like she injured herself on that play. I hope she's okay. 44, she's grimacing and Shovel. reaching for her back. Let's go. Fight right. Fight right. But, yeah, no, whether, whether you were a part of that last championship for the Temptation, it doesn't matter right now. You're looking at this, and you're just miserable. Matheny again. Oh, great play. Shovels the ball off. That's Jade Randall inside the five. I am loving the playbook that they're pulling out right now. Just all these design plays. Personal foul. Blow to the head. Defense number nine. That'll be half the distance of the goal and an automatic first down. You don't think this has been a little Matheny creativity at work here? You think those shovel passes have been designed? No, I think this play, that last play was designed. And if you look at it the way it was designed, first the tight end had an option to go outside, and then there was an arrow route, arrow route where they cut back into the middle of the field based on where the defense was. I really think that was a coach's design. First and goal for Seattle. Full house backfield. Schnorr the up back. Malloy and Williams. Williams will get the ball. She stops short of the goal line. Chelsea Hart's not done playing for L.A. I like the fight. I like the fact that they saw Schnorr coming out as that lead blocker. They're still coming in, making solid tackles on Williams, saying that we're going to make you earn it. We're not just going to lay down and let you walk into the end zone. I, I do like that. Yeah, with 3.19 left to go in the game. Yeah, and down fight. Big. Fight. Keep playing. That's it. Fight. We just talked about the fact that if you want them out, keep them out. The, the, the small victories, the, you know, the personal battles. That's what this game all is all about. Now here comes the bull. Bunch formation. Bull formation. Stevie Schnorr into the end zone again for another Seattle touchdown. And they put up half a hundred on it. That is just total domination. Seven plays, 29 yards. The bull at the end of it. It's, it's just complete domination. It, I know it sounds like a broken record, but they have just not been able to deal with it. The temptation has not been able to deal with how physical this club is. And if they're going for one, chances are, we know the play. And another five and a half minutes off the <laughs> clock. 
for that last scoring drive. Bunch formation, bull formation, surprise. And now it's just a battle of wills. The temptation know it's coming, and they can't stop it. The bull into the end zone again, and the conversion is good. Then this has just been an attitude game. Attitude got the temptation to the legend stop. Attitude got them through that game with Austin. Attitude allowed them to prove to everyone that they did belong, but today they're just getting outplayed. Well, and today it's Seattle with the attitude. Seattle, Seattle, Seattle you know has, what? has exceeded their attitude a hundredfold. And see, uh, Seattle, it's not only the attitude, they are prepared for the moment. They are coached for the moment. The players have the mindset. You have a veteran ball club, and, and I think a lot of these players understand this could be their last opportunity, and, and they're playing that way. And you know, fortunately, for, for Michelson, he's really good with the with the free agency market and bringing in players because he's going to lose a lot of these. Salerno chucks it up again on first down. And now you have no choice but to try and just, just chalk it up, just throw it up and, and hope you can make a play. Just hope you're going to get a touchdown on every play because why not? I mean, they put a 50 burger up on you. So, Yo. you know, when you're eating a 50 burger, you just try to do whatever you can and just walk away and say, hey, at least we got that big play. As we reach the two-minute warning in the 2019 Legends Cup. This is the two-minute warning. I'm out on the field. Let the celebration begin in Seattle. The Mist up big and on the verge of their third championship. Chet Buchanan and Eric Davis back in Seattle for the final two minutes of the 2019 Legends Cup. Seattle partying on their sidelines, and why not? They're up big, a dominant performance tonight at the biggest time on the biggest stage. They came up huge. Oh, yeah, definitely. 10th anniversary, Legends Cup. It's th this play, oh, I hope we have the read. You guys got to replay this one for me. This play epitomizes the night for the temptation. If you look at what happened on this play, this is how everyone in a Temptations uniform has, they have to feel. Because at the end of this play, running down the sideline wide open, you see the wide receiver just trip and fall on a play where she would have had a touchdown. And just, just and that's what happened. They've fallen and can't get up. But there is Mighty Mouse again. Salerno completes the pass, and Mighty Mouse will go into the end zone. So at least L.A. will have something to go home with at the end. A little bit of success at the end. And what a great year for Mariah Lopez. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Coach Michelson, hot. Still up big. They threw the blitz at him. Lopez makes the reception. It just needed more of that earlier on. This needed more. Lopez. Lopez hasn't been a big part of the game. Hasn't gotten a lot of touches. And that's what got them there. But... Credit to Seattle's knowing to take her away. Brings the score to 56 to 18. LA will go for two. Flags come in at the end of the play. Pass was intended for Mariah Lopez. Michaelson's not happy. Pass interference, defense number 20. By rule, the ball will be placed at the one yard line. Replay the try. This will be a two point conversion try. Okay, run it in, get the two points. Yeah, they still go for two, yeah. but they get to do it from the one. And that actually might have been Hallie Jiska. There might have been two ones. She's a little taller <laughs> than Mariah Lopez. <laughs> Little shovel pass over. That was I like, like a Tebow pass. Yeah, the old jump pass. Sherry Awaga on the other end of that. And that will make it 56 to 14. Or a correction. 56 to 20. But not, it's too not that too much difference. Not much difference, no. No, it's really not. But again, I like still, still fighting. But I believe that fight is over now. Let's go inside the Seattle huddle. Victory formation. That's my favorite play. Victory formation. You better block your ass off on this one. Right? Yep. Okay, let's go. 
victory formation on one on one. Ready? That's every offense's favorite play. Absolutely. Especially when there's a Legends Cup on the other end of, of yeah. Yeah. this series. Can I tell you, even when you're on defense, if that's your offense, it's your favorite play as well. Yeah. You're partying on the sidelines. Uh, I don't know if you can take it all the way down. We'll be close. We might be able to. We'll, cl we'll be close. Watch out. I'm not a math guy, though, so. Yeah. She is. Ask her. She went to Harvard. 35 times 4? 140. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to check your card. <laughs> Again, yeah. the same uh, I think play. at this point, you could probably let it go. <laughs> well, a great night for Seattle. Tough night for L.A. I get it, I understand. But, you, you know, Rory Derry, Hunter Hudson, they got to decide who's the head coach. I think it's difficult when you don't have that one person in charge. They needed that tonight. Celebration on the Seattle side, on the temptation side. Defeat. Here's Mo Gax. I'm just going to kneel it. Well, I don't know. Be careful. You may not. Watch. 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 The ball. Watch. They'll kneel down one more time. They've all got the T-shirts. You know, that's a good feeling putting that T-shirt on. Yeah, man. You do all that work. You you can go through the season and you can have some things that you say were success, but the season's not successful unless you have that feeling right there. And the Seattle Mist are the 2019 Legends Cup champions. Their third Legends Cup in franchise history. Let the party begin in Seattle. Well, Chet, they did it in a champion's fashion. They earned it. They dominated. I don't think there's any question. If this was a fight, it would not have gone to the card. That was a knockout. We will come back with post-game interviews, and we will award the 2019 Legends Cup. The Seattle Mist are champions. The L.A. players not happy as they walk off the field, and nor should they be. We'll be back with our trophy presentation right after this on LFL Football Night. Welcome back to the 2019 Legends Cup. Let's head down to the field with Heidi Goldsnick for our trophy presentation. All right, Coach, this is now your third Legends Cup championship. Walk us through this team. Tell, talk to us about this team in this moment. Uh, this team is so resilient. They bust their ass every game for me. They bust their ass at practice at 5.30 in the morning, every weekend, every night on Saturday night. They're not going to the club. They're getting it in. They're balling out, and it showed on the field tonight. The biggest defeat in Legends Cup history because we came out, handled business, we executed, and I couldn't be more prouder than this team. This is the most dominant team in Legends Cup history. Thank you so much, Coach. Congratulations. Let's go! Okay, okay. All right, guys, and now KK Matheny. KK, if there was ever any doubt about you winning the big one, it was answered tonight. Walk us through your emotions right now. This feeling is better than any other feeling that you can have in life. Our team is literally the best team that's ever stepped on the LFL field. Every single one of these girls are ballers on and off the field. They got like 16 kids that come to practice, and we all still get it in. We love this sport. We love this game, and I love all you guys. I love you fans. Thank you, Seattle. Thank you, Seattle, for supporting us. Thank you so much, KK. Congratulations. And now, where is she? Game MVP, Stevie Schnorr. The Bull. Stevie, league MVP last night, and now game MVP tonight. Talk to us about how you're feeling right now. Honestly, there are zero words. This is all I wanted all year, all we're working towards. You guys have no idea what this team has gone through this year to get here. We have so many injuries. We have people having ACL surgeries coming back. We have people having meniscus surgeries four weeks ago, five weeks ago, no surgeries at all. And we are here tonight and we fucking beasted. So and not- Nini had a baby three months ago. I'm so proud of my team, but I knew we could do it, and we came here, we balled out, and that's why we have this tonight. 
an incredible season, you guys. Congratulations on a job well done. Your 2019 Legends Cup champion. And thank you again, Heidi Golznick. Great work all season long. And earlier when Heidi was talking to KK Matheny, KK said that this Seattle Miss team was the greatest LFL team of all time. You buying into that? Well, the way they dominated, you look at this score, if you just want to go by the stats, you can make that claim. They definitely will always, they will forever be in the conversation. How about we put it that way? Yes, they will always be in that conversation. Put the Seattle Mist up there with their third LFL championship right up there with the great LFL teams Absolutely. of all time. Absolutely. Obviously not the night that LA wanted to have, but an incredible night for the Seattle Mist. Stevie Schnorr, the Bull, is your Legends Cup MVP. And once again, congratulations to the Seattle Mist Absolutely. for their third Legends Cup championship. Partner, good times. It was great, man. It was great. Great season. We're looking forward to the 2020 LFL season, and maybe you and I will get to do this absolutely, again a little bit. Absolutely. I can't wait for the picks and hits. Thank you, as always, to our executive producer, Mitchell Mortaza. Thank you, Bobby Huco. Thank you to Alex Saxon, and thank you to Austin Lake in the truck. And thank you, every single one of you for watching LFL Football Night throughout this season. For Heidi Goldsnick, for Eric Davis, I'm Chet Buchanan. We will see you next season on LFL Football Night.